Man, that was fun. Um, that was mean, uh, but it was required. Um, you know, you got to give their defense credit too, man. We didn't do much um, on the offensive side. It was one of those hard defensive battles, and maybe a play or two in teams were going to be the difference. I thought we stood up in that area. But just can't say enough about the fight of the guys. Um, it wasn't as fluid on offense, but there were some, some plays and, and moments that those guys seized. I really thought um, James Washington rose up big tonight. Uh, but it was a lot of people. Um, just unbelievable team effort. Not ideal, not perfect. Uh, we'll evaluate tomorrow, but today we play. And I thought they played and played to win without fear. And uh, when you're playing a good opponent uh, like the LA Rams, man, that's how you got to play. Thankful, thankfully, we're able to do enough to, to get the victory. Got a couple injuries. Uh, Switzer's back is being evaluated, and Ola's hip is being evaluated. Um, you know, we're working on a short week. We got to go to Cleveland for Thursday night. So uh, no rest for the weary. Uh, but it's good to prepare on a short week uh, with that good, tough victory. Man, that was a tough football game, tough team. Tip my, my cap uh, to those guys. Um, just thankful to get it done. Questions? Mike, what went into the offensive line shuffling for you guys, and how much do you think that helped against Donald today? You know, we just wanted to get the best pass-protecting group out there. So essentially, we had three tackles on the field, you know. Um, Matt Filer is a very capable guard, but he's been standing up at tackle. Uh, he's a good pass protector. Uh, we thought that that was the best mix under the circumstances to, to give us a chance. And, you know, we'll evaluate tomorrow. Um, those were our intentions going into the game. Uh, we proceeded and we proceeded without fear. We'll see what it looks like from an evaluation standpoint. Mike, what's the confidence you have right now in that defense and making plays? You know, I was confident tonight, but each week is a new. And so we got to get in the lab and see what Cleveland does and how we match up against it and what the issues are. Um, you know, our confidence is steeped in preparation and, and understanding uh, each individual matchup. And so I felt good about the things that we needed to do versus this group. Uh, obviously, it started with minimizing Gurley. And for a while there, we had, we had a tough time doing that. Uh, we settled that down, and, and it got, got back to where we wanted it. All the takeaways you've had, not just today, but all season, is that more a mindset or more a physical thing? Or what? It's all of the above. You know, we've been open about we need turnovers. Um, great defenses get themselves off the field. Great defenses stand up in the face of adversity when put on the short field. Um, so we've worked hard in that area. It starts first with the acquisition of guys that are capable in that area. Can't say enough about Minka, for example. I mean, really, you know, the tear he's on is, is what it is. It needs no endorsement from me. Um, but it's also our approach and, and how we work, the environmental element of our preparation. So, you know, we just got to keep grinding. Mike, we don't often ask you about Jordan Berry, but his role, and speak to his role in the game. Tonight. Jordan's been rock solid for us, not only tonight, man, but, but all year. Um, significant. Um, just, just like his maturation and, and the way that he delivers, particularly in the, in the guy to have it moments. What were you guys able to do to take away a cup? For them. I don't think he had a catch. You know, um, is that true? Man, we, we doubled him a lot. Um, you know, he's the number one receiver in the NFL on third down. And so all our third down discussions started there, uh, minimizing his, his ability to impact the game in that way and then kind of working out from there. Anyone else? Yes, uh, just in terms of Mika, Mika's production and just he just looks comfortable. He's playing with just his instincts. When you're coaching a player who's this hot and you don't really need to do much because you're just letting him go out there. How do you make sure he's just staying in the zone and not getting distracted by anything? You know, Maker is a level-headed guy that, that his, his play is steeped in preparation. Um, I hadn't been around him very long. None of us have. But we all know that, that, that he has a love for football, and it is displayed in the urgency in which he works daily, not only on the field but in the classroom. Um, he is just very professional. And so – is football justice as far as we're concerned. It's not anything mystical. He doesn't have a rabbit's foot in his pocket. Um, he's preparing and, and taking advantages of opportunities. So it's reasonable to expect it to continue, provided we're in an environment where those plays happen. You know, you're up on people, you get them somewhat one dimensional, you get more opportunities for those type splash plays. So it, it's not occurring in the vacuum for him. It's, it's a part of how games are unfolding as well. Mike, do you think it's through the decision to go for a fourth and one on that field goal drive? We just, we just plan to win. Um, 
we're just playing to win. And, and sometimes you got to take calculated risk. Sometimes it works out like it did in that instance. I was also the guy that called a play action pass on the minus six and got a sack for a safety. So, you know, some, you win some, you lose some. Um, but when the guys are playing with that amount of energy and urgency, as coaches, man, we got to support them. And how we support them is being aggressive. Else? Best one, um, Mike. At this point, right now, knowing the fact that how you guys have really turned this season around, what are you most proud of at this point in the season? I know you haven't won anything, no Super Bowls yet, but right now, you're you right. We, we, I'm proud we won today. Um, not big picture people, not not cumulative people. Um, we played today. We'll evaluate it in the morning. I'm proud of their efforts tonight.